Yes, Lord! Yes, Lord! Smooth than a motherfucker. Swayed on the inch side. Can it be? Can it be? I ain't gotta tell you what the rims look like. Look, don't be fucking with my tape deck. You gon' listen to this mob and you gon' listen to this blood song. All y'all niggas with that very white belt. I don't really fuck with that right there. I listen to you. Hey, you never go broke chasing riches. Hold on, but you might go broke chasing every little stink asshole with a tongue piercing now. If I call you a bitch, oh shit. Okay, so as you can see, everything is incredibly messy. I apologize, but that's just the way things are right now. Um, <laughs> got my jacket here. My, uh, my dress shirt here. Um, bed. And not for the life of me figure out how this is supposed to be set up, so just not asking questions at this point. There's like this fitted sheet. Hold on. I've just been using my, uh, been using my clothes and my jacket as pillows because this thing, this thing is the only pillow that they actually give us and it's full of like it's like barley or, or beans or Something I don't it's really uncomfortable whatever it is incredibly uncomfortable. So this thing has just been chilling and I've been using my winter jacket right here for a For a pillow it's worked pretty well so far obviously not ideal Anyway onto the bed the thing that confuses the ever-living out of me in regards to this So it's like I'm just gonna dismantle this just for explanation's sake So there's this bottom thing right which is I can only assume just like a pad um, which is what it looks like. Then we get this like non-fitted fitted sheet, which I assumed went over the pad. And then there's this thing, which is, it's very clearly a blanket, but it comes with this sheet that doesn't fully, like there's a big space right here, which would kind of conjure images of, this is supposed to go down and this is supposed to be a pad, but then that didn't make sense. So I've just kind of been using it as a blanket like this. Um, I'm really stupid, so I'm probably doing that completely wrong. If you know how this shit's supposed to be set up, let me know, but that's just what I've been working with. Uh, it's been comfortable, so uh, not too many complaints over here, aside from the pillow. The, the freaking this barley pillow. <sighs> you? No, it's been good. It's been good. Uh, but I just, I don't understand this sheet situation, but it's been working. So if I come over here, um, this is the bathroom, or the, uh, the, the washroom, rather. <laughs> um, it was just like, you know, sink functions as a sink. We're good on that, uh, on that front. Uh, you got some, uh, deodorant, you got some melatonin, which is key for jet lag management as soon as you get to foreign ass country. Shampoo, conditioner, aftershave, BS. Let's be real, I can't actually grow a beard, it just smells nice. Sorry this is like hella messy. Um, also, I'm not like a, a crazy pill junkie or anything. Uh, these are just super helpful. If you guys have any, like, you know, pro tip, life hack, if you guys have any um, little pill bottles lying around your house, they work great for like little travel, uh, little travel things for shampoo and, and whatnot. So anyway, messy washroom aside, actually haven't even opened these. That is a cupboard. Who knew? Taking a gander over this direction, we have the, you don't, you don't want to see this, but you know what? You're going to see it, and this is what this is about. Uh, this is a real Japanese toilet, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is not the transformer of a toilet that you find in other establishments. It is just a regular ass toilet, which I appreciate. Nothing, uh, nothing more needing to be said regarding this. You know, I'll just chilling with my 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 pal toilet over here named him Richard okay we're good um, oh yeah here's my little uh, kitchen station thing I've got you check this out okay so I got this bowl I got some bought some Japanese uh, frosted flakes almost called them lucky charms for some reason Tastes exactly like American ones got some like Japanese vanilla stuff this is pretty solid and some of these little meals so I don't have to go out to eat 100% of the time. Luckily in the storm they provide us with like a little refrigerator. I was super sick so I was trying to find any sort of vitamin C that I um, <laughs> that I could actually find. I tried my best to get some orange juice or something. I'm pretty sure this is like mandarin juice. It, it does the trick, it, it tastes like it so hopefully I'm getting some vitamin C with this so I can 
get over this cold faster because this thing has been kicking my ass. Anyway, there's that. Got some got some milk. Uh, I'm assuming that's from like Hokkaido or something. The the Northern Ireland. I don't probably not. No, Northern Ireland, not Ireland. That would be Nick. <laughs> some unfinished milk tea. Yeah, yeah. A little, little little mini fridge. Makes life really easy. Oh I decided to get my Western on. Bought some great value equivalent spaghetti. Some spaghetti and um spaghetti <coughs> spaghetti and spaghetti sauce because I thought, you know what? Why not have an authentic Italian experience in a Japanese dorm room, right? That sounds, that sounds great. Um, at least to me, it sounded great. But yeah, it's in a bag, which is interesting. So at some point, I'm gonna have to figure out how to boil this shit and make myself some spaghetti. So that is on the agenda as well. I'll, I'll, we'll do that together, probably. I'm so sick. And unscrew. Cool. We'll drink together. I normally hate people who do this, but it's, it's mine, I'm not sharing this with anyone, so. Hold on, hold on. I purchased this little Pikachu thermos cover. So it's got a little cap screw on thing, I don't have a thermos for it, but it's a little cup, because I needed a cup to use. So, that's my tripod right there, sub dog. So I got this for use with this. Gorgeous. All right, cool. Little cat thing. We're gonna drink some of your sweet, sweet nectar and hopefully it makes me feel a lot better. Shit, fuck. I've had so much of this stuff in the past, like, day. I'm starting to get sick of it. Uh, okay, that was my bad. I just, yeah, I'm just gonna... I need to wash this towel anyway. That's my dirty laundry pile, because I uh, conveniently forgot to bring a uh, laundry basket, which was a smart-ass move on my part. Good job, Taquin. You know, being prepared is always my motto. Of course, right? Oh God, mandarin juice is a hell of a drug. Okay. Okay, next up, uh, I have to show you the balcony because that's like the best part. I love having a balcony so much. It's honestly kept my sanity uh, through these past few days. It's been rough, guys. It's been rough. You haven't seen it. It's been rough. Let's check it out. Yeah, you know, no big deal. Just my own balcony. It's chill. That's not that great. Okay, so from here, one, two, three. Anyway, it's really cool. It's hard for me to like show you while I'm in frame, so I'm just gonna cruise to the next episode. It is pretty modest, but it's my balcony and I do like it, so. I like it, it's cool, it's cool. Though I'm not sure what that is. Cuban forest cat's mating call or something. Anyways, I've gotta get some homework done, so uh, I'm gonna do that and then whenever I do get that finished, I'm gonna take the camera. We're just gonna go out and explore uh, Fukuoka, explore the city. Uh, the beach is like some, dur some amount of time that way, so we're gonna go that way, find the beach in the daytime. I like passed it by at night. I don't remember exactly where it is. Go back, find the beach, and uh, and yeah, see what we get up to, but got some homework to do, so I'm gonna do that. Now. Part three. Well, that's because I, 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 my channel last, in the last year was like, oh, Okay, uh, gonna go study with my friend Austin for a bit, potentially cook some spaghetti, we'll see. Uh, and then once I'm done with that, head into the beach. done we're gonna go out find the beach it is 6 p.m. so we've got two sorry an hour and a half till the sun sets I don't want to be on the beach for that so let's go
figure out where to go here. Here and then turn left. And go through. Oh shit! We're gonna pass by right by freaking. Hold on. We're gonna pass right by uh, Fukuoka Tower. There we go. We'll get to see a, a national treasure and a city monument on our way to the beach. Simply perfect. Uh, so yeah, we just take it right up here and we're good. I'm like, this is new terrain for me. I'm. This is my first time being in this part of the part of town. The city of Fukuoka hired like a super talented videographer to uh, do like a whole city tour thing, like hyperlapse vlog, music video. I don't even know what to call it. I'll try to link it below if I remember, but it's it's really good and it has like a hyperlapse right up, uh, like from over there up in front of the tower, and it looks really good. I am vlogging in public though. There's Japanese people giving me weird looks, but uh, that's what I came here to do, right? overcome that fear. You guys proud of me? I'm proud of me. I'm still pretty timid about it. There's a lady walking by with her bike right now and I'm just kind of really worried about it. Just don't worry about it because like the more I do this, the more I talk to the camera in public, the easier it gets. So I just need to keep doing it. We'll be good. But, uh, but yeah, we're making a pit stop, just checking out the tower and then it's on the way to the beach so it works out. So, ikimashou. Navigation tips. Take the crosswalk. Well, guess what? I just did. Oh, look at this. There's like a pond and shit. It's probably where all the mosquitoes are coming from. Yeah, there are uh, there are a lot of mosquitoes around here. And I'm just kind of taking it with stride. Because there's nothing really I can do about it. Didn't bring bug spray, so that's a rip. Uh, if I die of a horrible exotic disease, you guys will know why. We hit that mandatory vlog cinematic section pretty damn quick in this one. So now we're just heading to the beach. We are here. This tower is ridiculous. It's like so tiny, but there's my hand for scale. It's not that. Like it could all like I can just fit it like right there. probably get that. <laughs> Just an FYI, this beach enforces a strict no swimming policy. Anyone looking to swim at a beach. Okay, we're gonna set up right over there. Poor tennis shoes are getting wrecked, but that's okay because it's in the name of YouTube and just kind of chilling out because you know what? There has been a lot of shit going down and I needed just a little bit go chill on the beach at dusk with the sunset, which I'm probably not gonna be able to see because it's overcast. Just chill out, man. We're chilling. We're chilling right now. Just for a context shot, we've got the tower there, which is where we were uh, next to. Got a freaking aneurysm there for a second. Don't worry about it. And then you've got the surrounding islands and, and whatnot. I thought that something was crawling on my shoe. That would have been a situation we'd need to take care of pretty quickly. But yeah, really beautiful ass place, man. We made it. I, being the smart ass man that I am, came prepared with a dirty towel for use on the sand. Because you know your boy is going to get some, uh, get some of these here. Well, lads and lasses. We made it to the beach, and that was the objective of this outing. Get down, hold on. The color of this sky right now is absurd, you guys. Freaking amazing, dude. What's up, plastic? Just rolling on by. I feel that. Yeah. 
oh god, Mu, that's right, it's an M, okay. Yo? You. God damn it. That's Ho, right? Ho, okay, there we go. No, that one. Okay, we were choking, but we're, we back. Nu, is that one? Mu? That's what's up. We crush it out here. Okay, so to provide full context as to why I'm here, which I should have done earlier, um, I signed up for, let me just move this bad boy just a little bit. There we go, hopefully that doesn't fall over. I definitely should have provided context sooner. So I signed up for a month-long intensive Japanese language program. It was just kind of like serendipitous because it was near my friend who lives in Nagasaki, so I would get a chance to see her. Um, it was just on the South Island, which is a little different than um, like the normal trips to Japan that kind of like, you know, start in Tokyo and are, that's kind of like the epicenter for everything. So it's a good opportunity to like see a different part of Japan. This is my first time in Japan, by the way. Also just kind of get outside my comfort zone a lot more, which is the main reason for this trip. Uh, this program will like fulfill some language credits for my uh, university at home, which I just started recently. And uh, I'm already studying Japanese because I have yet to learn a second language. And I tried learning Chinese for like three years, but then that kind of didn't work out once my, once my father wasn't like in the picture anymore. He was Taiwanese, so like, he wasn't around to speak to um, after that point, and uh, so that just kind of didn't work out. So I figured, why not try Japanese? It's a cool, it's a cool ass language. <laughs> Culture is obviously really neat too. So, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. It turns out though that this is definitely not a beginner program, 100% not a beginner program. So it's been a rough couple of days for me because I completely misinterpreted like the level that I needed to be at to attend this program, and I'm hardcore downplaying a lot of this stuff. Like I was having a really rough couple days. Um, obviously off camera. I'm definitely experiencing like some emotional limits. That is a very good thing because that is one of the big reasons I came here, you know, just to get out of my shell. You know, I've never thought of myself as a sensitive person, but um, with all the stuff that's been kind of going on um, here, it's been hard to deal with and it's been confusing and I don't know what to do next with with a lot of things and um so i'm really trying to figure that out it's it's been it's been rough uh anyway I, <laughs> i'm not trying to make this like a emotional video or anything like that i'm just letting you know what's up why i'm here um but yeah i needed a little bit to just kind of get out explore a little bit we're on this beautiful ass beach uh at dusk um i'll be here for a month probably take some trips down to nagasaki hopefully uh meet up with my friend there again uh, you saw her in, in the, the previous video. Um, but yeah, like we're gonna have potentially a trip to Hiroshima, uh, depending on the schedule, uh, and just lots of fun things. So I'm gonna keep you keep you posted. I need to get comfortable with vlogging in public as there's a Japanese family walking behind the camera. Konbawa. I kind of have to head back in a few minutes, but well, I don't really have to head back. I just, I've got class in the morning, so I don't, I don't want to be out too late, but I'm just gonna chill here for a little while, listen to some music. But I know my way back, so we're good. Uh, just gonna hang out on the beach for a little bit and uh, figure out what I'm gonna do next. So I've got a month left here, so we're just gonna see what we can get up to. Voice is cracking because I'm sick. <laughs> All right, you guys, take care. Good night. I'll see you next time.